Camellio is a very powerful SIP server and SIP tool that I can say you can do whatever you want with SIP traffic in Camellio. You can, for example, manipulate the headers, add, edit, or delete a SIP header. Uh, you can route the SIP traffic. Even you can change the SDP part of the SIP traffic in your Camellio. Camellio as a core use a lot of modules to extend its functionality. For example, when you want to connect to a database, for example, a MySQL database, it has a specific module uh, that Camellio uses this module to talk to the MySQL server. Or for example, when you want to uh, do some sort of authentication or when you want to call a web service, for all of them, we have uh, extra modules that Camellio uses them to actually interact and to extend its functionality. One of the useful functions and one of the useful modules and one of my favorite is the App Lua module. App Lua enables you to execute the Lua script within your Camellio. It means that if you are already familiar with the uh, Lua scripting language, if you know how to write if else, if you know how the for loops or variable uh, works in the uh, Lua scripting, that's great because you can use that knowledge to uh, use in the uh, by using the app Lua module in Camellio to route the SIP traffic, to answer the SIP traffic, to manipulate the SIP traffic, and to write your custom applications. Especially, it is useful when you want to uh, integrate with the external systems. For example, when you want to call a web service. Although we already have a module for that, but in when you pass the uh, traffic to a Lua scripting that you are already familiar with that language, it's easier and faster to work with external applications. And you have all the functionalities that you already had in the Camellio here now in the Lua scripts, for example, to um, whatever, to route the traffic or uh, manipulate the headers or whatever you want with the SIP traffic now in your Lua scripting language. In this video, I want to talk about this powerful module, actually my favorite one, and uh, I try to explain it with uh, one or two uh, real examples and how we are using, for example, App Lua to do a, a specific functions, for example, to implement a blacklist or to route the SIP traffic to a, a specific destination that this decision uh, is made by an external uh, web service server. In order to explain using of the App Lua module in Camellio, I have prepared an example uh, for uh, this video. So when an invite is receiving, for example, via our VoIP provider to our Camellio server, we need to ask our application server where to route this traffic. Should we send it to the voicemail, PSTN, or should we uh, drop that uh, invite? Should you, for example, reply with a 404 not uh, found? So uh, this is very common because in a lot of applications, a lot of custom applications, you cannot put all the logic in Camellio. Imagine you have thousands of customers and you cannot define all the customers here in your Camellio configuration files. Even if you want to save it in database, then the application server needs to connect to the database. Uh, usually uh, for especially real time, uh, SIP routing, we need to ask from an external source. This, uh, this external source here is our application server. How do we connect to this application server via a web service? How do we call this web service via App Lua? That we will explain uh, in this video how to write that App Lua, how to call that App Lua, and uh, we will go through the uh, steps that we have done to implement this system. Okay, now it's time to explore our Lua script and how we can route our Camellio uh, scripting language to the Lua script. In order to do that, uh, you can refer to my GitHub. I have uh, put all the steps in my GitHub as always. So if you go to the Learn Camellio repo and you select the App Lua module in the Camellio, you will, ha you will have access to all the steps and also the Lua scripts that I have written. Uh, I have listed all the steps. The first step is to install the app Lua module. In order to do that, you can use the apt install Camellio Lua modules. Uh, I assume that you have already installed Camellio. If you have not installed it, I have a video and also I have an article in here on how to install the Camellio. So first you need to install Camellio and also the Lua, uh, Camellio Lua module. 
then uh, as always we need to load the app Lua module uh, you need to edit the etc camelio camelio.conf and then add the load module in the uh, module sections if you have any libraries that you have installed in your Lua script for example here I'm uh, using Lua socket to call a web service so you need to install that uh, Lua package as well this is relating this is related to your Lua scripting not really to Camelio the next step third step is to define the path of our Lua script so with the uh, with use of mod prime you can uh, set the load and then here you can give it the path of the uh, Lua script for example I have put my etc camelio uh, scripts apps.lua as the parameter for my app Lua module of course we need to create the scripts uh, folder it's not a default script it default folder in the etc camelio so first I have created the uh, etc camelio scripts folder and then i uh, touched the apps.lua i created the my lua uh, script here and here is a sample lua script that i have uh, written to call the web service and based on the answer uh, i wrote the traffic that i will explain here in the uh, apps.lua uh, script i created the function dynamic route that i will call this function later in the camelio uh, i get the color id or the from user this is the web service that i want to uh, call this is my application server and if i pass the color id to this uh, application server this is a uh, this is a web service that i have run on my server and based on the answer of this web service i want to route the traffic so my answer is in json so i have just uh, process the json and there is a field that this dst is the, my destination so if the web service answers me with the busy here is the magic actually i can use uh, this command ksr.sl.sl send reply to create a uh, reply message and for example by for 483 busy here so if I read busy from my web service, I can reply with the busy here to the uh, requester. KSR info will log whatever I put here into my log file. It can be syslog or any log file if you have defined in your Camelio script. And after that, I'm uh, exiting from my uh, actually uh, Kemi or Lua script. If I get voicemail uh, from my web service then again I will log it so that as you can see the web service response is voicemail so we route to our free switch voicemail server I have run a free switch that it serves as a voicemail server uh, this is some variables that I have uh, identified my server URL and also the port number and the VM URI uh, what I have done here because when I'm calling the web service it gives me two uh, response if it is voicemail it will give me another field that's the voicemail number and here I'm creating the URI so it will route to voicemail number for example let's say 1001 at server name that is voicemail.omit.blog and it will add the port number here so it will route to 1001 at voicemail.omit blog uh, and port 5060. I also uh, added the header here. This is not really mandatory, it's just for me to uh, understand this is a voicemail. Uh, when, I'm l when I'm actually tracing my zip packets in the Homer or any other monitoring system. So here I add a header. The name of header is X additional call type and the value is voicemail. And then I set the destination URI. So it will send to the uh, address that I have defined here. If the uh, destination is PSTN, it means that I need to route to my PSTN system. Of course, I can use the previous method to route to my server. But here I used another uh, function in the Kemi or in our Lua script that it will use a dispatcher. 
dispatcher. I have a video here on how to use the dispatcher module. I wanted to show you that you can use the dispatcher module uh, in your Lua script as well. So it will route to uh, dispatcher group of two and the policy is one. So instead of me to create all of the uh, passes, I can just pass it to the uh, dispatcher and dispatcher will send to the group two. And in my etc camelio dispatcher.list, I have defined uh, two as my voicemail servers. So you can use the dispatcher modules here as well. Uh, so after we have our Lua scripts defined, it's time to route to our Lua script. In order to route, you can use the Lua run. So if I put Lua run, uh, and in the parentheses, I put dynamic route, whenever a packet comes, it will sense to this function, to this Lua script and dynamic route function. So if you want to do multiple things, you don't need to create multiple Lua scripts. You can put all the uh, code in the same Lua scripts, but different function names. So when a packet uh, is reaching my Camellio, it will send to the Lua script and also it will call the dynamic route function. Of course, here I set a check. If the Lua run function failed, then it will debug that the execute to fail to execute dynamic route Lua function. So this is just to show me if the Lua script is not running. And after that, I can restart the Camellio. And that's it. So it's very straightforward. You just need to uh, load the module. Of course, you need to install the Lua module. You need to load the module. You need to define where is my Lua scripts. Uh, and also you need to have your Lua script that you can find this functions, all of them in the Camellio wiki. Uh, I have documented, uh, and this is how you are calling the function in your Lua script. Uh, I have, if you want to see the list of uh, all uh, uh, Lua functions that you can use here, of course, there is another uh, method as well. You can use the CamCMD. Of course, the CamCMD is a very a powerful tool that you can install with your Camellio and uh, it will help you a lot because it can connect to the RPC and get the list of the commands, for example, for the app Lua. If you run this command, camcmd applua.api underline list, it will give you the list of the all functions that are uh, supported and you can use uh, in your Lua scripts. Of course, pay attention. For example, here I have used the uh, KSR dispatcher select. Uh, I have already loaded the dispatcher module. So if you don't load the module, the functions won't be exported to the Kemi script that you are using here. So pay attention to that. So if, for example, you want to use this dispatcher DS select, you need to already uh, load the dispatcher module in your camelio.cfg conf file. And uh, when you're running this command, then you can see the uh, functions related to dispatcher. Uh, that's it. This is how we are calling our Lua script. I hope it helps you. It's very useful uh, module, especially when you want to integrate with the other systems. I hope that video is, this video is helpful. And if you have any question, you can put in the comments of uh, this video. By the way, the link to my GitHub will be in the description of the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.